All right, so here we have Robinson Cano. I want you to pay attention only to the upper half here. This is all I care about right now. This is how you start to master the body of the swing, the muscle movements of the swing without becoming overwhelmed. Now, pay attention to that front lead elbow. He wants to engage in that L position. So let's see what that looks like. Now, the first release of the upper half, the arms, the top half, is that front lead elbow. Now, that front lead elbow should form the shape of an L as if he was looking at a watch. And there it is. So that front lead elbow enters this shape. Now, we want that front elbow to be guided towards our mouth and upwards. If this front elbow kind of just gives way, goes down, goes straight to the side, player's going to drop their hands, they're going to lose power, they're not going to get thrown, um, they're not going to carry the ball on that, that, that flight, on that path. So you want to make sure that that front lead elbow is moving up towards the mouth and that back lead elbow, it's doing its job as well. So we have the front lead elbow coming forward, job done, excellent. We could draw our L here, always make your markers. That's the L that I was telling you about. So what does the back elbow do? Well, the back elbow is um, getting into the position to skip rocks. So it should go into its slot. I call it the skipping rocks slot. That's a good way for your athlete batter to understand exactly what it should look like. Now we want that front lead elbow strong. Now watch this back elbow here. It's going to tuck and enter the slot. Now the slot will look in a sense like a V. Okay, now you want to make sure that this slot is close to the body and is strong. You don't want to, um, to fall too back on that back side, and there goes your pop-ups and your loss of whip through the zone. So you want to make sure that that slot is nice and strong and sound and entered. Uh, it doesn't. You want to make sure you don't gear away from that slot once you're in that slot. All right, a lot of kids, what they do is they get here, they throw their arms out, and they cast just to hit the ball, make contact. A lot of pull hitters do that as well. Now at this point, the bat should be a couple inches from the deltoid area. So let's check out our bat here. We want to get that bat. Shoulder does a job. Front elbow does a job. Back shoulder solid. Back elbow does its job. Barrel is back. That's your accessory. That's where all your energy is going. That's where all that that potential energy is just fired and loaded up right now. And every, everything's just whipping through the zone from the body. All right? This is very important. The bat being close to the deltoid area. Now, we still have that front, front hand position or that front elbow position. We still have that back slot position. Perfect. We have the shoulders strong and a solid angle. And there is that last whip, that last accessory through the zone. The rest does the job. So here I was telling you, um, once the batter is about to release, and they're in their slots, okay? They're in their slots on that front side, on the back side, with their elbow. You want them to fire their back hip and their back shoulder. This is their this is their uh, light up mechanic that they're going to kick into gear, and this is right here that back hip. Okay, so you want them to fire it. Use that term fire, and by firing that back shoulder and that back hip, the bat will whip through the zone. 